Chef Lalon, owner of the Canteen Bar and Grill in North Platte. Join us now for fabulous, unique, original recipes created by the chef. Hi, and welcome to uh, Cooking with Chef Lalon. This coming Friday is the 4th of July, and I thought I'd do something real special. This is a Carolina dog. Very, very simple, but it's, uh, it's really unique and really good. Uh, we've got our dogs here. We've got uh, a coleslaw we're going to mix. We've got obviously carrots and uh, two kinds of uh, cabbage, the red and the, and the white. A little mayonnaise, cider vinegar, salt and pepper. I like to use honey in there instead of sugar. And we've got a little honeycomb uh, honey, which is real good. Another key ingredient in that is celery salt, believe it or not. That's kind of goes on the top. And if you really like it, it's going to be mustard, because I think that's really the only thing that's supposed to go on hot dogs. But this is really uh, unique. And we've made a little bit of uh, Coney Island type chili that's going to go over the top. Real simple, but it should be a lot of fun for 4th of July. All right, now we've got our good dogs. You guys want to use really good do dogs. These are Hebrew Nationals. I try to find something that's uh, good quality. Again, these are all beef. You can't go wrong with these. Obviously, we're not doing these on the grill. We're just doing them on a grill pan, but they'll be just fine. Get those started. All right, we're going to start off with some mayo. I don't try to use too much up front because if you need a little bit more, you can put it in. This is maybe about a cup of mayo. We want a little bit of, uh, I like cider vinegar in there. I think it just gives it a really nice flavor. We want some salt and regular pepper. About 20, maybe even 30 turns if we're using the pepper grinder. Maybe about a half of a teaspoon if you're doing it just regular. And again, our honey. And I like this. I really just like this honeycomb honey because I think it just has really good flavor. We're just going to pour it right out and keep the honeycomb in. And this just gives us some sweetness. And we're going to mix this up. We'll taste it, see how our seasoning is. We'll go from there. All right, now we've taken our bread. This is obviously some decent bread. We cut it so we have a nice little big slot on the front. That kind of works really great. Again, if you're on the grill, you know what these are going to taste like with that. And we want, we're going to do like two styles. One is when you're down in South Carolina, they'll call this going all the way. And this is just like a Coney style chili, which is real simple to make at home, obviously. So we'll do two like that. I like them with just the coleslaw, but they kind of do them both ways. So there's one, and then of course you want to top it with this beautiful honey coleslaw that we made. And this other one, this is what I like it, just with the coleslaw and a little bit of mustard. And we're gonna finish these with some celery salt. And you guys have got yourselves a really good treat for uh, 4th of July. And that's right on the top. It's a little bit of celery salt right across there. And those are ready to go. Ice cold beer and can't go wrong with that. All right, grab yourself your favorite beer. I grabbed a little Newcastle here because I think this is going to go really well with this. Make sure you try this at home. Next week we're going to do something real fun. We've got uh, some zucchini blossom from uh, Deb and Gail's Lewinberg's uh, garden. And we're going to stuff them and show you how to fry them. Fantastic, another great summer thing. We'll see you next week. For Chef Lalonde recipes, go to knopnews2.com or send a self-addressed stamped envelope. Please join us again next Wednesday.